Hello and welcome. I am Annette Reeder from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com and today it's time to cook. We're going to put together the yummiest soup ever. In fact, this is just the perfect, the tastiest detox soup you can ever enjoy. This is a lentil detox soup and yes, we've got some key ingredients that are going to make a difference to your microbiome, therefore mental clarity, therefore weight loss and there we go, it combines everything. I'm so glad to have you join me here in my kitchen. If you have not already, please go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and the bell so we can stay connected. Yes, that is how we can build a relationship and together enjoy God's recipe for excellent health. And that is what matters. So today's recipe is going to have some key ingredients. You can cook this in the crock pot or in an instant pot, and I'll put some directions down below for you. The first ingredient that we're going to have is some chopped butternut squash. Butternut squash is just a very nutritious food because it gives us high fiber, good quality protein, and lots of antioxidants and beta carotene. So this is just a good addition. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and use my crock pot, and I'm gonna add two cups of this chopped butternut squash to my crock pot. Now when you chop up the butternut squash, you may have a lot left over. I have four cups extra here. So I could actually make a double batch of the soup, save this and do it a second time, or I could just save this for a stir fry. I could shred it up for my salads, so many different things, but I went ahead and chopped up the entire butternut squash. I could also mash these and put them in with my mashed potatoes. <laughs> That's an idea I'm gonna do. Another is carrots. So I have some chopped carrots, again, two cups. So I'm gonna add that to our mix. I'm also going to add two cups of sweet potatoes. So I've got them chopped up and ready to go. So I have a very orange, <laughs> a very orange recipe right now. Again, my carrots, I ended up with a little bit extra. My sweet potatoes, I ended up with a little bit of extra. So I will add those to our stir fry, or maybe I might just even just roast them in the oven as is, and we're just gonna have some delicious bites for dinner. To this, I'm going to add some lentils. So I'm going to add one cup of, they could say green lentils, which typically they're brown, or they would just be your regular lentils. I'm also going to add a half a cup of yellow lentils. Now these don't need to cook quite as long, so we're gonna save those for a little bit later. Now, here's the key ingredients. And then we have garlic, so I'm adding five cloves of chopped or crushed garlic. Now, does scripture talk about garlic? Totally, yes. Garlic is a food that grows well in Egypt. We know because the Israelites were whining and complaining because they were missing their garlic. They wanted a little garlic to add to their manna and their quail. And, but yet God was trying to change them. He was trying to get them to release from all of those food addictions and those, those idols that they had worshiped in Egypt. He's trying to purify them. He's trying to purify them so they can start to understand how much he loves them. You know, sometimes when our children or grandchildren are playing with their, their game objects or their iPods and, and all of that, it's, it's hard to get their attention yet you have so much more to offer them than that toy does. Yet we have to remove them from that toy so they can come and listen to what you have to share with them. And God had to do the same thing. And then we have onions, same story. Onions are definitely in Egypt. They miss those as well, but they definitely grow really well in Israel and all throughout the Mediterranean region. Now this soup has lentils as I shared. Remember the story of Jacob and Esau. Esau was willing to give up his entire birthright for a bowl of red lentils. Do you ever catch yourself willing to negotiate, which we say in our inner circle, negotiate what's right for what just tastes good at the moment? That's what Esau was all about. He was in it for the moment. He wasn't in it for the long road. And remember even the Israelites, as they were traveling for 40 years, it could have taken just a couple days, it took 40 years to purify them, to be ready for what God had for them and the original generation didn't even get to experience the promised land. 
Okay, so now our spices. So I'm adding a teaspoon of salt. I'm adding some oregano, a half a teaspoon of oregano, a half a teaspoon of thyme, and also some rosemary. Now you could just throw a couple sprigs of rosemary in your soup, and then when you go to blend it later, you could just take those out. I'm also adding some dehydrated peppers. I happen to have quite a lot in my pantry, so I decided I need to go ahead and add that. If you don't have dehydrated peppers, I totally understand. So just go ahead and chop up some peppers, either green, red, yellow, whatever is your favorite, hot or mild or sweet, your choice. But peppers are another detoxifying food. So the detoxifying foods are the onions and the garlic. The lentils are going to add a high fiber content. All of our other ingredients are high fiber, and it's just going to work amazingly in your body. Okay, so to this, we're going to add our broth. For the broth, you can either use a vegetable broth or a chicken broth or beef broth. Obviously, if you're doing this on the Daniel Fast, we want you to use some vegetable broth. All right, I set my crock pot on high. We're gonna let this cook about four hours and then I'm gonna add my second batch of lentils. Now, doesn't that look yummy already? Now we're gonna go ahead and add in 3 fourths cup of the yellow lentils. They're already split, kind of like a split pea, so they don't take as long to cook. They cook fairly quickly. They only need about maybe 45 minutes, and then we're gonna to go to the next step. Just keeps getting better. The next step on this uh, lentil detox soup is we're gonna take about a half of it and blend it to make it nice and creamy. I'm using my Vitamix blender, but you can use any blender. I'm not using the immersion blender because even though that would be super easy, I wanna keep some of the chunks in the soup. All right, so you can see I pretty much have, pretty, pretty much, you know, looks like about five cups of the soup I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna put this in my blender. And before I do, I'm actually gonna go ahead and add in some olive oil into what I'm going to blend. So into my Vitamix blender here, I'm gonna go ahead and add a half a cup of olive oil, and that's just gonna help emulsify the flavor. Now that that is blended, I'm gonna add it back into the soup. Oh, nice and creamy, don't you just love that? It looks like your favorite butternut squash soup is what it looks like. Now we still have two more ingredients, actually three more ingredients that we're going to add to our soup. Now, if you wonder where I got this recipe, where I was inspired from, it's called Pinch of Yum. I'll put a link to their website down below. They had this mentioned in one of their podcasts, and I decided, oh, I've got to try it. So I've made a few tweaks of my own, and yes, they were definitely the inspiration for it. I'm gonna stir that up. We're next going to add a spritz of lemon juice, just to add kind of a sparkle of flavor. I know sparkle doesn't usually go with the word flavor, now, we're also going to add some parsley and some chopped kale. We don't need this to cook very long, so we're adding it in at the very end of our recipe. Oh, look at that. Isn't that looking good? Yes. Your microbiome's gonna say, oh, this is so good. Where has it been all my life? And now we're gonna just squeeze some lemon into the soup. Yes, just a great burst of flavor, a nice blend of flavors. Now, if you've added the rosemary sprig into your soup, you might wanna make sure that's been removed. Most people don't like getting a stick in their soup. I wouldn't mind, but most people that I serve wouldn't like it. And there we have it, our delicious soup. This soup is delicious. So I thought I'd come out here on the back porch and just share the final result with you. Totally Daniel Fast friendly, totally good for weight loss because of the high fiber. Always remember we've got to have high fiber when we're wanting to experience a healthy microbiome and just get that satiety working again. Many times when we eat processed foods, we don't have a satiety signal. We just like keep eating and eating and we're like, I, I'm not getting full. I know because the hormones aren't working because they've been so desensitized by man's lab experiments. So this is just a delicious soup. I can't wait to see your comments on how you liked it. Remember, when you're serving lentils, you get to remind your family the story of Jacob and Esau. When you're serving onions and garlic, remind your family about the story of the Israelites and complaining all the time. And when your children start complaining about anything, just say, oh, you sound like the whining Israelites. 
And then remind them, you know, those whining Israelites didn't make it to the promised land. Their next generation did. And so we always want to remember God's stories. And I know your kids are going to give you that look or your spouse may give you that, there she goes again or there he goes again. That's okay. What's important is that we keep reminding our family of God's promises, his provisions and his grace. That's what's important. I don't care if they roll their eyes. I want them to say to their friends, you wouldn't believe what my grandma teaches us all the time. Or if they go to Sunday school and they're talking about Jacob and Esau, the children are going to say, oh yeah, my grandma tells me about that all the time. For those of you who are young moms, I just want to encourage you. I want to be the mom that maybe didn't teach you what you needed to know or the mother-in-law that didn't teach you what you wanted to know. I want to be the grandmother to you. And I just want to help you discover for yourself and for your family God's recipe for excellent health. And we don't have to be a scientist to understand God's plan. It's simple and it works. I was so excited when I read the latest testimony on our Facebook page where James had shared how he lost 18 pounds just by following the Hunger Satisfied Journal. Well, since I've been writing him, he's like, oh yeah, now I'm down 23. The Hunger Satisfied Journal. It works because all it is is God's principles put into a book to help you follow it. I don't do the eat this, don't eat that. That's between you and the Lord. And I just teach you to eat foods as close to the way God designed it. And just imagine this is totally a food that you could enjoy sitting down with Jesus at the table. Ah, oh, so much richness here. Just as he gave us fiber to fill us up, he gives us his word to totally fill us that we can always be with him and abiding in him. I, you've never heard fiber compared like that. I know, I get it. I'm Annette Reader from thebiblicalnutritionist.com. Please join us there. If you're on Facebook, join us there. If not, totally understand. And yet, don't forget to visit our website, biblicalnutritionacademy.com, where we have courses for you to learn and understand God's recipe for excellent health. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait to see your comments down below, but don't forget to hit like and subscribe and share this with at least 10 people, this recipe, and then make it together. Let's bring the family back together again and enjoy the fellowship that God designed. Thanks for watching.